Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the portfolio. Again, I want to thank everyone for supporting the channel. All the viewers, all the subscribers, immensely appreciate the support. Today, I thought I would jump back into options trading on the Robinhood platform. This time talking about the latest trade I made with AT&T. This trade's a little bit different than the other trades I've been doing. The covered calls, selling off contracts on stocks you have in the portfolio. This time I sold off a cash covered put, meaning that I'm obligated to buy a stock at a particular price in the future. Uh, as you can see up on screen here, T32 dollar put 622. That is the cash covered put that I did today. But before talking about that trade, I wanna go over last week's trade, the AT&T covered call that I did, 500 shares. I actually had to sell those shares off, but quite lucky today because the stock did trend down quite a bit, 2.9% down 96 cents per share. Over the past one week of trading, 6.84% in the red. Yesterday, it ended the day just over $33. Because of that, on the bottom of the portfolio here, as you can see, T, $33 call assignment. I actually had to sell off these shares to another investor, part of that contract. Again, when you sell off a covered put, you have stocks in your portfolio that you are obligating yourself to sell at a particular price. If the stock is above that price, you typically will have to sell off. That's what happened with AT&T on Friday, the last day of trading. I had to sell my stocks off. You can see a credit to the portfolio, $16,499.72. There's been a lot of inquiry on the portfolio, a lot of questions regarding risking all of your stocks for a very small uh, premium with regards to the options contract. But if there is an execution of the contract as this one was, you still get the proceeds of that auction. So I do have to sell off 500 shares, but I get the proceeds of that particular transaction. So for this particular transaction, I was forced to sell off, but it was actually a positive swing trade, just over $80 for a swing trade plus the options premium. And with that capital, again, I decided to do something a little bit different. I did a cash covered put, again, with AT&T, as you can see here, T, $32, put 622. So essentially what I'm doing is obligating myself to buy 500 shares of AT&T on or before 622. If the price of the stock gets down below $32, I'll have to buy this stock from another investor for $32. And actually I did six contracts, so that's 600 shares. I have to have cash collateral for that. So about $16,000 or so. For doing this particular trade, I got $138 to the portfolio, as you can see on the bottom there. $32 put sell, 622. So again, I'm selling off a put contract to another investor, obligating myself to buying 600 shares of AT&T. To make that contract, I received $138 in an options premium. I also have to have $16,000 in the portfolio tied up in this particular transaction as collateral. So that's what I did today. I'm going to test this uh, particular uh, sell off. I may just start doing a lot of cash covered puts as well as covered calls for stocks in the portfolio that I'm holding for the longer term. If you calculate all of the numbers with the $138 payment, if you consider 52 weeks per year, $16,000 is essentially tied up in these contracts. The APR will be about 45% or so. Again, if all of these contracts kind of work out as they are planned, if I do have to buy the stock and the stock continues trending down, that's the big risk with this type of trade. I'll have to buy at $32, and if it keeps going down, let's say to $30, I still have to buy at $32. And then if I do buy at $32 and the stock is worth $30, I don't want to get out of the stock right away. So then I'm going to tie my capital up in the stock and not necessarily be able to trade with that capital. I could start doing covered calls on that stock. So there's not a huge downside to this particular type of trading. If you're doing it in stocks that you're more than comfortable holding for the longer term, if they're quite volatile stocks, I definitely would not consider doing cash covered puts uh, for another form of passive income in the portfolio. So that is today's options trade. Again, with AT&T, as you can see up on screen here, T, $32 put sell, 622. Again, for new investors on the channel, I'm obligating myself to buying AT&T for $32 per share on or before 622. So if the stock gets below $32, I will probably be required to buy AT&T at $32 per share. So that is today's options trade. Let me know if you guys are doing similar types of trades in your portfolio. I've been doing a lot of cash covered puts 
uh, as well as covered calls. This is the first one I've done on the Robinhood platform, or at least significant trade on the Robinhood platform. I'll see how this works out and it may continue doing this forward. Not to make the video too long, I'll kind of end it here. Again, if you guys enjoy the content on the channel, if you guys enjoy the video series, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And until the next video, we'll see you then.